next video in today's video i will show you how to load a 3d model uh, inside your native android app uh, so this uh, tutorial is completely for native android development uh, and i first before starting the tutorial i want to show you a video of the output so this is the video here you can see this duck so this duck is a 3d model and i can you know uh, rotate it uh, all around like 360 degree i can rotate uh, this uh, 3d model and also uh, you can see there is a background to this so just keep in mind i will uh, get back to this in the code later on but uh, we need this background as well so yeah i will play the video again so this is how uh, this duck is completely a 3d model and uh, it is using the 3d model uh, which we are using is gltf so that is the recommended uh, model which uh, google recommends to you know use inside your android app there are other models as well like obj fbx i guess those are kind of old and i have not really tried them so the library which i am using is uh, filament uh, this is from google but it is uh, from a guy called roman guy roman gi however you pronounce it so he works in google like he is a main guy for android development android toolkit you might have heard his name several times if you are into native android any which way so he is one of the core maintainers of this library so first you have to just create a default uh, android project and you can have to import these two uh, dependencies so these are the filament dependencies and uh, this helps us to uh, render 3d model inside your android app next what you have to do is uh, I'm using Kotlin version 1.8.0. I'm not sure if this works on older versions of Kotlin as well. Uh, you might have to check. I think uh, this version of filament depends on 1.8.0. I'm not really sure, but I think it's better to stay up to date on whatever the latest version is. Next, go to activity main.xml and here you can see I have just a linear layout, a text view and to render the 3D model, I have a surface view. Okay. Now, before I start with the code, I want to... Uh, say few things like i i i don't understand this code completely like i will uh, try to explain whatever i have understood but if you are uh, interested in learning more you can just do a google search uh, you know android filament and just go to the github repository of uh, filament and uh, you can try reading the documentation and uh, try to understand more of it so also inside the project you have to create this assets folder and here uh, you have to add this uh, so i have added so i have rem remember i have told you that uh, we need a background uh, for that 3d model as well so this is the background which is contains so you can get this from that uh, google filament uh, github library itself uh, go to the samples or examples repo and just download one of the example and it will have this okay so this is how uh, you know the background is rendered and inside the models you can use and uh, any glb file uh, glb or gltf are kind of the same uh, i think what i am using let me see so i am using duck.glb so you can uh, download uh, don't download i think there is some issue with gltf download a glb i mean you can try uh, rendering gltf it might work as well i am not sure uh, i have tried with glb file so you can download a glb file from uh, google like you will find a lot of glb files like this gltf file are available in different versions and uh, in different uh, yeah, versions and glb is one of them so yeah so you can see i have an i was just trying out this damage helmet as well glb file so these are all 3d models so anyways once you are done that just go to main activity and here uh, first you have to write this bit of code which loads our uh, you know filament library next i have created a surface view this choreographer frame scheduler model viewer then there is this text view object like i don't know what what all these things does then there is a double tap listener which i have created then there is a remote server like again i don't know what this is for but there is uh, this toast uh, yeah toast like normal toast messages status text latest download then this uh, yeah the, again this is like uh, gibberish to me french to me i guess i don't understand anything of it but yeah i guess if you want you can just copy paste the code like what i did that's what i did uh, then we have to add this windows dot add flags just to keep this flag screen on then we are creating object of our surface view and our text view 
then we are uh, creating object of choreographer double tap gesture model viewer and then like this is like boilerplate code which i have just copied from documentation and when i click on the surface view dot set on touch listener uh, these two methods get called next there are these two methods which i have defined again sorry i don't know much about it but i wanted to share because uh, there is a lack of uh, videos video tutorials on 3d uh, how to render just 3d stuff like there are game development stuff but not uh, you know uh, app development how to use 3d in app development so yeah just wanted to fill that gap so yeah i mean yeah you can read out the comments if you want like i don't know much i don't have anything much to say so yeah you can just pause the video and copy the code or you can just go to the filament directory yeah here we are loading this actual uh, glb model okay and there is some indirect light which we have to create all that stuff like i don't know much about 3d sorry then uh, we are reading the assets over here and this is just for clearing out the text and setting the text we are setting it on the main thread again this is like loading it or uh, the glb file and we are making it uh, load it uh, with the help of coroutines and then load hdr okay load zip yeah even this is i don't know what this is when so sorry about this so i think this model we were load is the model then on resume we have to call this on pause we have to call this and on destroy we have to call this and this is the load model data code so if you don't know the gltf for glb files are basically json files so here what we are doing i think encoding decoding whatever json and also setting the camera how we want then i have no idea about this <laughs> no idea about this as well okay and this is for double tap listener so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye